Opa! Welcome back to Doing Those Kitchen. You come to cook, you come to laugh. I'm gonna get out of my face. <laughs> Today on Doing Those Kitchen, we're gonna teach you how to make souvlaki. We had a recent trip to Greece where we met Zeus. Probably wasn't Zeus, it was just a guy in incredible shape. We figured this guy probably eats a ton of protein. How do I get this guy's muscles? So we asked him for a chicken recipe. Yeah. Yeah, no. Or what? Oh, and then, wait, what? I he thought... Didn't, he didn't want to give it away. Oh, he wasn't giving it up for free. Yeah. Okay. And of course, a man of his stature wasn't going to give up his recipe for free. So us being people who like challenge... I've never backed down from a challenge. Never. Well, once. We agreed to arm wrestle him for the recipe. Long story short, we got the recipe, so you know who won. So hopefully stay tuned and watch the recipe. All right, so we're going to start with some tzatziki sauce. Or as I like to call it, take it easy sauce, because that's hard to pronounce, and it doesn't really uh, spell it the way it's supposed to be said. And then, so here I have some fresh dill going into this little uh, bowl of mine. And I'm chopping this garlic, and, you know, I think I've gotten better at the chopping. Look at how fast I've gotten. I'm not going to lie. It's immense, uh, immaculate speed. <laughs> Thank you. That was nice to do. You don't usually say things like that. Greek yogurt. You can't what do have you know? a Greek dish without <laughs> Greek yogurt. You can't do it. So I'm about to do four tablespoons here. Heaping tablespoons, of course, and then some mayonnaise. And I'm doing this just to cut that very bitter taste of the Greek yogurt. No offense, Greek people. And then we uh, add a bitterness of uh, lemon. <laughs> and then we add olive oil to measure. Out. As you can see, this we're just canceling out the bitterness <laughs> with everything we can. Adding more bitter, you cancel it out. Sugar, the ultimate bitter canceler of the game. And we're going to stir it very, very quick. This is supposed to be a quick recipe. This is why we stir this fast. Yeah, you would. Then you get your cucumber. Cucumber. That's how you say it in... Uh, Jamaican. Jamaican. Yes. Uh, and then it looks like I'm going to cut my fingers here. So don't do this. You know, you're really supposed to tuck your fingers in. Don't worry about techniques, though. You can chop the way you want to do. I Sometimes I use my teeth. <laughs> I'm on struggle bus with the cutting board here. It keeps turning on me. That's what Slowing me down a little bit. And I'm not too counters. happy about that. Yeah, honestly, that's the beautiful marble counters. They're so slippery. Yeah. A new investment, actually, if you guys haven't noticed since our first video. Mm, yes. Beautiful investment, I would say. I would add. I would say. I would add. Okay, then you mix again. Keep mixing. And then oh, you could just put this works. in the fridge and just let it chill out. Chicken marinade, man. We're always marinating chicken. I feel like I it feel never like ends. I feel like it's a full-time job. It's just to marinate chicken. So we're going to do some more fresh dill and some more garlic. This is kind of like just copy-paste, you know? I think this is me chopping, and I... Yeah, it is me chopping. That's why it's absolutely as sloppy as can be. See, it's not that bad, yeah. It's Wait, is this bad. me? No, this is you. Since when did you get that tan? I don't know. Okay, for some reason in this video, our chicken looks purple. Um, could explain why I had the shit. So, yeah, we're just gonna well, that's what happened. continue. <laughs> so we're gonna chop these really uh, finely. It's supposed to be like a tender. You can use a chicken tender, actually. We just, we had breasts, so we, we're doing breasts. Um, Olive oil. Salt. And then you add in oregano. Oregano is the spice of choice for a Greek marinated chicken. And twisting some black pepper in there. Oh, a lemon. lemon. See, you see, see what I mean? It's like cooking is so easy. It's literally cop and paste. Oh, vinegar! That one you didn't see before. The yeah. vinegar, it, it makes the, the chicken tender and juicy, and it holds all the flavors, okay? Mm -hmm. You can also use vinegar to clean your counters when you're done. All right, so now we have some saran wrap. Now, okay, y'all tell me, when have y'all ever seen saran wrap not stick to everything? Didn't stick there. It defied gravity. All right, now we're starting with our little gravity. salad. Mind your business. Okay, we're starting with our salad. We're going to chop um, a little, you know how you do like a little Greek salad. So yeah, we have a them. tomato. And then so more some more cucumber. Cucumber. <laughs> Cukes. The chopping done in this video is impeccable. I don't I think we've seen it. Armin chop once, and I think that's why it's probably... Oh, <laughs> you stole a cucumber there. I didn't even notice. Yeah. You thief. 
All right, this was a really risky move. I used half of a half of a half of an onion. And um, as you can see, I'm going to struggle really hard trying to cut this. Don't do this at all. You know, put this yeah, in sometimes a Sometimes it's safer mandolin. just to leave the entire bowl of onion in your salad. You don't have to chop it. All right, so we're going to put it all in a bowl. And then, you know what I didn't put in here that I meant to? Okay, Greek feta, of course, authentic. But before we get to the pan part, okay, whatever, we put it in the pan. Put pepperoncinis in your salad, too. It's delicious. I, I did it, but I just forgot to video it, if that's that makes that's sense. That's authentic. So we cooked the chicken in that time that I was talking about pepperoncinis. Yes. <laughs> and then you go from a big bowl to a little bowl. And then uh, that one onion on the side should not be there, and I will eventually tell there I am. I'm convinced we have a rat. That's me. Look at this pita. Oh so now we're going to make it into God. like a little gyro you gotta, thing. you got to be joking. So you can have it either way. You can have it in a salad. You can have it in a Greek pita. You got to have your feta. You see the pepperoncinis? Oh, my God. Mouth watering. Your head will fall off. I'm drooling. Your head will literally fall off. Oh, my God. Thanks again for watching, and please be sure to comment below with your interactions with Zeus. He's not a very nice guy, I'll tell you that much. Please like, please comment. If you want arm wrestling tips on to uh, manhandle some grease men, we got you with that too. Subscribe. Deuces.